Ooh, hi guys! I just made the camera autofocus on my hands. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hello guys! Welcome to another random night rants with Ringa, and I wanted to random rant about this randomness that I like. Okay, I'm gonna be legit. I was just taking a shower. My hair is all still wet and everything. TMI? Maybe? Maybe? Anyways, I started thinking about this in the shower, and so I figured I would talk about it. Movies. I have, like, really random thoughts, okay? Like, don't judge me. But I was thinking in particular about Phantom of the Opera. So I'm going to give you my opinions as I give you a slightly, really, like, a giant... It's like a giant cliff note of the movie. Like, I'm just going to give you the parts as I see them. And then we are going to talk about it as I'm doing it. So if you can't keep up, then I'm very sorry. But I'm very random, and this is what's happening right now. Got you. Got you. I see you over there. I see you over there. Stop it. Hey. You pay attention. I'm just kidding. Anyways. um, Okay. So Phantom of the Opera. Great. Great show on stage. Great show in the movie. I liked it. However, I have some issues here, okay? So, at the beginning of the movie, you got this, like, guy who's, like, sitting there, and he's all, like, gray and old, and he's like, ugh, I don't want to be here, but I'm here for some reason. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. And there's this guy standing up there, and he's like, oh, now next on the auction block is this little number. And then he sees, like, this monkey, and he starts talking about it, and you see him, like, this old lady, and she's going to go bid for it, and he's like, oh, I'm not going to let you take this monkey from me. This is my monkey. And, you know, she's like, oh, well, this is my monkey. It was my monkey before it was your monkey. And, you know, they start, like, having a little thing, and he, like, goes to flashback mode. Like, after they show, like, the chandelier, they show, like, a chandelier, and it's, like, flashback mode. It's, like, da 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 ba da 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 Like, maybe not exactly, but just like that. Um, and I might get loud, so... Um, anyways, so, uh, yeah, um, and then you're, like, back here, and then, like, there's this, like, lady on the stage who has, like, great, fantastic makeup, and she's all, like, you know, trying to, like, sing some song, and, like, everybody's dancing in ballet, but it's, like, a weird type of ballet where they're all, like, slave Leia outfits. I don't really remember the like, outfits that they were wearing because I haven't actually watched the movie in for a very long time, and I haven't seen the stage um, play of it in a very long time. It's been a while, but they all look like they're wearing like slave Leia outfits, kind of, or just slave outfits, whatever. But they're dancing about the rain, and they're all happy about it. Ha! <laughs> and then, you know, these two these two guys walk up, and they're like oh, this is our new theater. And the old guy's like, yeah, but just a couple of things. This lady is a bitch. Sorry for my language, but she is. And she'll want you to do every little thing that pops into her head because she is a diva. That's a better word for it. She's a diva. She's a very big diva. She likes her water fresh. And from the tip of the iceberg that sank the Titanic. Anyways, like I was trying to say. But yeah. And then they're like, oh yeah, well I bet she's so bad. You know, blah, blah, blah. And they offend her. And she's all like, ah! Dear! I'm leaving! I'm taking my dog with me! Come! Uh, whatever your name is. What is his name? Oh, what is his name? Um, whatever his name is. The fat guy. Sorry, I can't remember his name. And he's not necessarily like, fat. He's just like, you know, whatever. He's in one of those suits that has like the big bottoms on him that's like all old and like... Ooh, what is it, like, rena renaissance era pants? I don't know, it's like Kingdom Heart pants that he's wearing. That's the that's close thing you can think of. That's a, good, that's a good analogy. Look at that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then no, I'm sorry. Um, but she's like, let's go. We're out of here. And they're like, no, please stay and sing for us. And she's like, ah, okay. And she's like, ah. And it sounds just like that, like exactly like what I just sound like. Ah. Yeah, like that. It sounds like that. Okay. And they're all like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's amazing. And the phantom's all like, ew. And he's like, well, I'm going to make this curtain fall on her. And she's like, ah, it's a curtain. Oh, dear. It has a lane upon my legs. Please, someone, save me from this tragedy. And they're all like, oh, dear. And they get her up. And then she's like, 
And then they're like, oh, it's the Phantom of the Opera. He's a ghost. And the old dude just disappears because he's like, yep, dipping out. <laughs> Thanks for your money, bras. By the way, enjoy that ghost that I left you guys. You know, he's just he's just a fan. He just demands like a whole like two thirds of your fee or whatever that was. He demands some of your money that you make and he demands that you leave a box open for him. And he has all these other demands. I'm out. <laughs> Thanks. Audi bra. And so he disappears, and they're like, these things do happen. And she's like, ah, these things do happen. And she's all, like, angry and stuff. And you're just like, dude, get over yourself. Like, really? Like, oh, my gosh, you were, like, the biggest diva I've ever met in my life. If I ever met anybody like you, I would just be like, ah. <laughs> um, anyways, and moving on from that, and they're like, oh please and she finally walks out and leaves like after they do something i don't remember what it was but something happened and she like leaves she's like all angry and she's like ah, and walks out with like a little song and dance and the little dude walks behind her and he's like bah, 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 bah. and um he made those sounds too i don't know why he just did it but uh and then they're like and then madame curie comes out and she's all like i'm regal and i know the phantom properly and he says welcome to your theater here's a note straight from the phantom it came with a rose and he bids you welcome pay him his money or he will kill you one by one <laughs> nah and then she's like oh yeah we don't need this diva we got somebody all right and they're like hey yo chick wearing the leia costume come over here and she's like what's up my name is christine y'all i'm like the youngest person ever Sorry, I heard noises, and I have, like, the door open, so I don't want, like, a possum to come in here or something. We have possums down here. Like, not, like, a lot. Like, not like we're overran with them, but, like, there's one that comes on the porch and eats my cat's food, and I'm, like, terrified that's gonna, like, one day she's gonna, like, hop inside the house or something. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, um, random. Like, I almost got completely thrown off track by that. But anyways, she, she's like, oh, I'm so young, and I'm just gonna come sing this song for you, and she's all like, and they're like, Oh, sure, sure, this girl could totally do it. This girl's gonna be terrible. Yeah, go ahead up there and sing. Oh, we're gonna lose all our money. What is this happening to us? And then, so she goes over there and she's like, well, I'm gonna sing and my name's Christine. And all of a sudden, you know, she starts singing. And as she's singing, it turns from a practice into the actual play or whatever that they're throwing. And she's all like... Think of me, think of me fondly. And they're like, oh, we will think of you fondly. Yay, you're bringing us lots of money. And then this guy's like, bravo! And he's like her love guy from like way back when, like before she even remembered to even like guys or something. Because she's like 16 in this, isn't she? So yeah, let's not talk about love here, okay? Remember the Ro Romeo and Juliet thing? Let's not get started on this, okay? But yeah, she knew this guy and he's like, bravo! She may not remember me, but I remember her. And she's all like, ah. Oh. And he's like, yay. And then, like, the phantom's all, like, angry because he sees this, like, douche dude, like, just sitting in his box. And he's like, I thought I told him to leave that box empty in this my box. And he's all angry, and he's like, doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything, but he's thinking in his head. That's what he was thinking in his head. You know, not don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that's what he did yet, but he was thinking it. And then, you know, she goes around, like he like meets up with her, and he's like, Christine, remember me? I'm your biggest love of ever in your whole entire world. And she's like, Oh, hello. And um, um. And then, uh, like, they meet up, and he's like, oh, little Lottie, or whatever he, he talks about. And he blabs on about this little Lottie and the angel or something. Their dad died. Fiddle on the whatever. He was doing something violent. Whatever. And, like, they were all like, oh, we used to play together. We used to play together, and we were in love. And he's like, let's go out. Make out with me, baby. And she's like, no, you have to take me on a date first. And he's like, okay. And then, you know... He leaves and goes to do something. I don't remember what it is. And then all of a sudden the lights go out and the theater goes dark. And then all of a sudden, no, my, my beautiful, like, camera screen went dark. And, you know, and then, like, you know, that happens. And then, like, the phantom's all like, 
insolent fool, this brave young suitor, sharing in my triumph. And she's all like, angel of music, guide and guardian, stay by my side, guide me. And he's all like, yeah, I'm super sexy because I'm Gerard Butler. And I'm, yeah, this is like, I'm going to go back and forth between the play and the movie, okay? Because this is the thing that happens. There's a lot of plays, but they'll come into play later. <laughs> Get it? They'll come into play later. <laughs> no, anyways. And he's all like, uh, she's like, uh, come to me, strange angel or whatever, you know, she's all like, please show yourself to me, please, I need to see you, and he's like, um, look at your face in the mirror, I am there inside, and she's like, ah, I look like a man, and all of a sudden the mirror opens and the phantom's like holding out his hand to her, and she's all like, Oh dear, and then all of a sudden, like this badass music, sorry, language again, like just roars up and it's like, da, 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 da. Same music from the beginning, da, 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 da. And he's all like, ooh, and she's all like, ooh, and they're walking through this hallway with candles and everything, and they're like, and she's like, oh dear, this guy really is sexy, isn't he? And she's like, in sleep he sang to me, in dreams he came, that voice which calls to me and speaks my name. And he's all like, yes, follow me down the stairs in this deep, dark, dastardly dungeon. And he's all like, yeah, I'm sexy. I'm freaking Gerard Butler, okay? And, um, let me just close this because I had to, uh, unplug it. Anyways, um, sorry, that's probably loud in the mic, too, also. And anyway, he's all like, he's like, um, sing, my angel of music, sing! And she's all like, ah! And it, like, in, like, the play, like, when she does that, like, it shatters like a chandelier, but that's, like, not necessarily in the play play. Like, that was in, like, the musical made for the play, like, with, uh, Sarah Brightman, like, way back when. Like, like, not, like, way back when, but, like, it was in the musical. Whatever. It's in a music video that was made for the play that was made for the musical. Whatever. You got you. Whatever. I don't remember. Um, anyways, uh, but she does that, and he's all like, oh, man, I'm so in love, that sexy voice. And then he's like in his, like, super awesome crib where, like, candles already lit. Either that or once they come out of the water, they start lighting themselves, just come out of the water. There's just candles everywhere. And he's got this great, like, underground sewer cave master bedroom extraordinaire. Like, pimp his crib, like, straight up. Like, he's amazing. And uh, I love the fandom, by the way. And he's all like, I'm going to be super incredibly sexy and sing you a song. And I'm going to play a little bit on my, like, organ over here that, for some reason, nobody can ever find me because organs are super freaking loud, and I live in a sewer where it would echo. But, you know, whatever. Um, and, like, he goes over here, and he's like, he's like, turn your face away from the garish light of day. Turn your thoughts away from cold, unfeeling light And listen to the music of the night I have a very great manly singing voice, don't I? E! Um, like for my manly voice! I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, and like, that's a super hot scene because I love that song and I love singing along with him because I can pray to him. I could do like a great Gerard Butler singing like that song, which is terrible because I should sing it like, you know, me, but I sing it like him because why not? Um, and he's like rubbing all over her body and she's all like, yeah! Like, like, let me, let me you know, like get in on some of that phantom love action. And then she's like, like, passes out because he has, like, some kind of, like, creepy, weird doll thing down there that looks exactly like her, and he dressed it up in, like, a wedding dress, you know, one of those dolls, you know, you know, no, I'm just kidding, that's terrible, I am a terrible person, I am an awful person, but still, you know, he's got, like, something down there that looks just like her, and she's all like, oh, 
and he's like sings her to sleep and then like everybody's like oh no you know that's a good I like then she she wakes up like I'm probably skipping like a ton of stuff but like she wakes up and he's over there like doing something like making up a new play and like playing with his little toys his little trains and like his little Legos yeah he doesn't have Legos or trains but we're gonna make sure that he does because that's why uh, I'm making this uh, he's like Gomez Adams just sitting over there playing with a train set uh, yes love Gomez anyways uh, then she walks up to him and he's all like oh I love you so much but I gotta bring you back because everybody's so worried about you and she's like I'm gonna take this mask off your face and he's like no and she's like ah! he's like no ah! 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 and like that goes on for like ever and then he's like how could you <laughs> my face you never loved me because of my face and she's all like ah, i actually like you because your soul is so nice and he takes her back and then you know she won like um by that time like during that time the part that i skipped i'll go ahead and tell you about like they get that bird like they get that bird <laughs> she is a bird isn't she now um they get that lady back and she's all like, ah, I get to be the star of the show. And I'm like spitting everywhere. And then she's all like, like by the time that she comes back, you know, Christine has to be like a secondary part. But they're getting ready for this new play. And uh, so she does. She gets, she's like, she's doing this play, you know, and uh, this lady comes out. She has like the greatest, like tallest hair. And her face is all done up like a jester. And like, she's like having an affair on her husband with like somebody else in the play um not the play of Venom of the Opera but the play within the play with whatever this like gestury thing is and she's like poor the fool he makes me laugh ha, 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 ha. and then you know everybody's like <laughs> you know like that kind of thing you know it's all like squeaking and like a bunch of noises that sounds like you're moving like a really noisy chair across the floor um and then like everybody's like oh ha, 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 this is a great show I like the show and the two guys are like yes we're making more money yay and then all of us like like this dude is like standing up there watching he's like the master of like he's like the the prop guy I guess like he puts down the, like the the set with like bar and everything like the set back the backdrop or whatever and he puts on the curtain and everything he's like the he's like the maintenance guy or whatever he's like standing there and he's like um, listen, like, just looking around and everything, like, making sure everything's going good, and all of a sudden you hear, like, this voice come out of nowhere, and it's because dude is sitting in his box again, like, dude is just chilling up there in that box because, oh, I'm privileged, and I'm gonna sit in this box by myself, because ain't nobody else coming up here in this box with me, and all of a sudden the phantom's like, did I not instruct that box five be left empty, and then everybody's like, <gasps> like literally everybody in the whole entire place is like oh gasp oh no and then it's like um and then everybody's like he's here the phantom of the opera and then she's like your part is like like that was like what is it christine said that the phantom of the opera part like that is saying like that and she's like the, the, the lady who's like a jerk like comes out and she's like your part is silent little todd and like apparently the phantom somehow made it from uh, way up the hell wherever he was all the way down to backstage I don't even remember if this happened before or after he mentioned the box five thing, but however he did it, either way, either way, he made it from one place to another very quickly and had already switched out this thing that they spray in your throat that's supposed to help you be able to sing, I guess. Maybe it's water, maybe it's just like a throat remedy, but whatever. He switched it out, and then, like, every time she starts trying to sing, she sounds like a freaking frog, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, not a frog, but whatever, you know, because he's like a toad madam I believe it is you who are the toad like apparently cuz he heard that like whatevs anyways um it's like if the phantom heard that from way the hell up there like the audience probably all heard that and know that she's like a jerk like you don't do that in front of an audience you just keep that from behind closed doors come on now no I'm just kidding uh, <laughs> anyways and then like he kills that dude that was up there because that after he says like the whole box five thing that guy's like oh that's the phantom I'm gonna go looking for him like a dum-dum so he goes looks for him and he hangs the guy on the set because whenever they're all dancing all of a sudden the guy the body comes down and I don't know 
if that was when the 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 chandelier fell because in the movie i don't think it falls or yeah it did something like that whatever something happened at some point but whatever um she runs off stage. I don't think it was then, honestly. I don't think it was right then. I think it's later on in the movie. But whatever. She runs off stage, you know, and Raul goes after her. I guess I'm saying his name right. Whatever. Raul. Well, to have a... And he runs after her, and they're all like, we're in love, and we're singing on the rooftops. And, you know, the Phantom's watching him, and he's all pissed off because he sees this other dude, like, coming in on his territory and, like, stealing his girl. You know, he's like, man, What? what? What's Junior doing here? What the hell is Junior doing here with his money and trying to take my box five and trying to take my girl too? What? And then once they leave, he comes out and he's all crouched over like a, like a gargoyle, like freaking Batman. And then he comes down and he, he has, picks up this rose that apparently she dropped. He crushes it in his hand and he's like, and he's like, I gave you my music. Made your song take wing. Christian. I know his songs like my heart, honestly. And he's like, um, you will curse the day you did not do all that the bottom of you. And he's like, no, 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 no. And it's all like epic. And then like, Later on, like, everybody's all happy because apparently the Phantom is gone, you know, because they haven't seen him in a very long time or whatever. And uh, they're all like, oh, we're all so happy. We're showing up to our new play or we're doing something else that we're dancing and we're having a party. <laughs> whatever. And, like, they're all dancing and, uh, apparently during that time, somehow Raul thought it was a good idea to get engaged to freaking Christine after all that stuff. So he's like, yeah, it's engagement, not, like, it's like not a secret, it's like a sweet secret, but he's like, and it's engagement, not a freaking something else. So my screen went dark again. But, uh, what ifs? And, like, I don't listen to half the stuff he says. He's not terrible. Like, Patrick Wilson played, uh, like, Raul in the movie. I don't know who played him any other time, because I just, like, don't look. I don't look at him. I look at the Phantom. But whatever. So he's not terrible. You know, but I'm just like, ugh, I hate that so much. Because you're, like, you're just like this guy who showed up out of nowhere. And you had nothing to do with her, like, life or her, like, learning how to sing. But whatevs. And then they're all like, masquerade. Paper faces on parade. Masquerade. Look around. There's another mask behind you. And they're all, like, dancing. And it's like, masquerade. And it's all like crashing down, like I was like, da, 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 da. and then the Phantom shows up, the Darth Maul mask on or something, whatever the red one. He just like, shows up and he's like, well, his mask isn't red, but his suit is whatever. But he's all like, yeah, I'm a ghost and I'm back and I have this play that I want you to sing. Did you think that I would? Now. Um, he's like, I have this play that I want you to sing, but this guy's got to lose some weight, and you got to learn how to sing and act. But I want Christine to be the lead. And he, like, after he says that, he's like, holds his hand out to her, and she's like, ah, Phantom. And then he, like, disappears. He throws, like, a freaking smoke bomb. He's like, bah, Batman move. Bah, Batman move. Disappeared. And then he went into, like, this house of horrors where it's, like, horrors. He went to a house of horrors. <laughs> Let's just make sure I got that right. <laughs> and, like, it's like a, a mirror, like one of those house of mirrors, which I love. I love those. Those are my favoriteest thing ever. I love house of mirrors. I can always make my way out. All you have to do is, like, look at the floor. That's all you got to do. You know, like, it's not that difficult. <laughs> but I used to love that. Like, it was my favorite thing to do ever. Um, anyways... And then there's, like, so much other stuff. And, in the, like, during this whole thing, like, he's flashing back and forth between the old guy and the new guy. And the old guy apparently won the little thing for the monkey. So he is the monkey now. And he's like, oh, I'm just an old dude. And I saw all these things in a window shop. And it reminded me of the things in your hair and all that kind of stuff. Like, that's all happened throughout this thing. But, um, then he, like, goes up to Madame Sherry and he's like... 
uh, please tell me everything you know about the Phantom or whatever. And she's like, okay, I'll totally sell out this guy who's supposed to be my friend. And, like, um... Then, like, later on, after, like, lots and lots of, like, horrible things probably happened in and out, and, uh, you know, the Phantom has had his, like, fill of whatever he had his fill of, he, um, you know, well, he didn't steal Christine at that time, but he still used, like, the Batman move or whatever, because he took his, he took her ring is what he did, he took her ring off of her finger, um, he's like, your chains are still mine, you belong to me, um, but anyways, uh, and, like, then they start putting on this play called Don Juan. Don Juan! And, like, instead, like, he either, like, in the book, apparently he kills the guy that goes backstage. But in this one, it looks like he just uh, swaps places and or just knocks the other guy out. But, um, you know, he switches places and, like, Christine's, like, in this other, this, like, alternate future Princess Leia's, like, outfit. And she's all, like, a slave and she's all, like... And then and he comes out, and he's all like, yeah, I'm Don Juan now. Which, really, Gerard Butler is kind of like a Don Juan, you know? He, he, he's, he's like a ladies' man, whatever. And um, he comes out, and they start singing together, and it's all, like, uh, hot and bothered and, like, sexy. And he's, like, rubbing all over Patrick Wilson's girl right in front of his face. Like, right in front of the whole entire audience. He's just like... Mm, this belongs to me. Yeah! Don't you like that? Nah. And she's all like... Mm, mm, uh. And he's all like, yeah! And she and like Patrick Wilson's all like, oh my gosh, she actually does like this guy. I might be in some serious trouble here. Maybe I need to kill this guy because I'm a dirtbag. Um, you know, whatever. Sorry. Uh, I'm just being a little harsh towards him. Um... But they're all, like, singing, and he's like, You pass the point of no return. And she's like, I have come here, hardly knowing the reason why. In my mind, I've already imagined our bodies entwining, defenseless and silent. I almost forgot the words. But now I'm here with you, no second thoughts, I've decided. Arr! Just takes a bite out of him. Nah, <laughs> that was me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. Anyways, that was like what she's doing, and she's all like rubbing it in his face too. She's like, look at this, Patrick, you see this guy? This guy has more game than you will ever have. Got that? And then, you know... And then they're both like, and then like the fandom starts trying to pull that crap. Like he starts trying to sing their song to her on stage in front of the Patrick because he's like, oh, maybe I've got her for good. And he's all like, and then he like tries to like pull up, and then he tries to start singing like their little song that he heard them singing on the roof. And he's like, oh, I'm just gonna pull this same crap. And she's like, ah, not having it, and pulls his mask off in front of the whole entire world. He's like, no, and then like. That's whatever the thing does because he crashes the thing down because everybody tries to attack him, so he breaks the freaking chandelier and he goes, whoosh, and whenever it breaks, it like everybody like sees he, he's gone, she's gone, and the Patrick like runs to Madame Sherry and he's like, please tell me how to do it, and she's like, keep your hand up here so he can't lasso the hell out of you, and he's like, yeah, sure, gotcha, and then what does he do? He follows them downstairs, down into the basement, down into the sewers, down into the water, and then. You know, the fandom's down there trying to make the moves on her, and he's like, yeah, love me. Put this wedding dress on, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry you, and you're gonna, you're gonna like it. And, uh, he gives her the ring, and he's like, here, wear this ring. And it's like the ring that Patrick used, so like, geez, cheap much? Like, I know you wouldn't be able to ever afford it, because you ain't got no money, but somehow you get paid. So it's like, what do you spend money on? How do you spend money? Like, if you get money, where does it go? You're a phantom. You don't ever leave that place. Like... Some, something doesn't add up there. What do you eat? Like, uh, anyways, um, and then, like, you know, um, uh, she's, like, trying to fight and resist cause she's all upset, you know, and then Patrick shows up and he's all like, nah, I'm Raul, give him a girlfriend back, and she, and he's all like, hey, guess what, lassoed, and, you know, he's like, what is it, he says, um, he even turns around and does it all cool, he's like, monsieur, 
I bid you welcome. Did you think that I would harm her? Why should I make her pay for the crimes which are yours? And you know, and then like he lassoes the guy and he's like, Order your fine horses now. Hold up your hand to the level of your eye. Nothing can save you now except perhaps Christine. And then, you know, he keeps on going like that. And he's like trying to force her into something. And she's all like, no. And he's all like, Christine, I love you. And she's all like, ah, Raul. And then she's all like, um, she's like, you've deceived me. I gave you my mind blindly. And he's like, he's like, you test my patience. Make your choice. And it better be me because my other one is me. It's going to kill your boyfriend. I'm going to kill your boyfriend. Kill him. I'm going to kill your boyfriend. I'm going to kill him. Bye. Bye, Patrick. Bye, Raul. I'm going to kill you. And she's all like, no, please don't kill him. And then she's all like, I'm going to, like, be sexy as shit. Sorry. Language. I beep that out for you guys. Like that? <laughs> um... And I'm going to walk towards you into this, like, freaking deep, deep, super big water. Like, why? Like, honestly, it wasn't deep, deep. But, like, if it was only, like, waist deep, why even use a, a like, whatever. Like, why even use a boat to get there in the first place? Like, it's not that deep. Just walk through it. Anyways, uh, and she's all like, I'm going to put on this ring that you gave me. Sorry, I thought I saw an SD card in the floor. That wouldn't have not been good. Uh. Nah, and so she's like, oh, well, I guess you are pretty sexy standing there in your, like, soaking wet clothes, you know, and choking out my boyfriend like that, you know, I like to watch. <sighs> oh, man, I'm awful. Um, anyways, uh, and then, uh, she's all like, I'm gonna, like, walk slowly towards you as I get deeper and deeper into this water. And she's all like, Pitiful creature of darkness, what kind of... Hold on. I got... If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it freaking right, okay? It's not exactly the same, but whatever. Pitiful creature of darkness, what kind of life have you known? God give me courage to show you you are not alone. And they're like, make out. And it's like the sexiest thing because it's Gerard Butler, okay? Like, there's another one. I don't want to pronounce, like, I don't want to even try to say his name because I might be saying it wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like, Ramin Kamirlu or whatever like that. Like, Ramin, whatever. Ramin, Raymond, whatever. I think it's Ramin, um, and he's, like, super legit, too, he's sexy, super sexy, and, you know, but, like, either way, they walk up to him, and they make out with this guy, and they're like, yeah, and then he's like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna make out with you, and you're 16 years old, and I'm, like, freaking 40, or at least in my late 30s, even though Gerard Butler was not, but the Phantom sure as hell was, and, you know, she's like, he's like, yeah, I like getting me some of that, some of that action, you know? You know, I want to go to jail. You know, that's fine. I'll go to jail for this. You know, like, whatever, gross. And, like, you know, then he, like, lets, he, like, starts feeling bad because he's like, oh, poor guy just had to watch me make out with this girl. And he's like, so I'm going to let you both go because I can hear some murderous, like, people who are super upset that I stole you away. So you can go ahead and leave now. And, um... They're all like, yes, let's escape. And she's like, row. And he's like, Christine, row, Christine, row. And then they, they like have like a moment between them. And he like, the, 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 the phantom's all sad. He grumps off to go like cry by himself. And, um, then she's all like, hey, be our bizzle. And she like walks off, like walks off from row and like you, it cuts away and you're like in the back. And here's where the fucking monkey comes in. Sorry for my language, but here's where the freaking monkey comes in, okay? Um, this is the first time, I think, that we see this freaking monkey. And somehow she 
sees this monkey this one time, I'm assuming, unless there is stuff that we just do not know. I'm so freaking loud right now. But she sees this monkey, and unless there's parts of this movie that we don't understand, then this is the only time she has seen this monkey. And yet somehow she, she saw it, she fell in love with it so bad that she like, pestered Raoul about it his entire life after she chose him over the freaking Phantom. She chose this guy over this other guy, and then you're gonna beat him over the head with all the great things that the other guy had? Like, really? You're a jerk. You are not deserving of having another, like, dude in your life. Just go back to the Phantom if that's what, like, that's what I would have said. I'm like, oh, you wanna go back? I can drop you off in the sewer. Like, you can go back. Like, I, I could go find myself anybody. I'm rich. I'm a rich, handsome dude. But still, I would have chosen the fans on anyway because that's just me. But legit. Like, what? What? Like, because like, he keeps on talking about, oh, you told me about this. It's just like you said. I paid all this money to get this monkey for you. Nyah. But, like, literally, what? What? She should have never even mentioned the Phantom again. Like, Ever. That should have just been, like, something that they tell as, like, a, like a bedtime story to get your kids to behave or something. Like, oh, a spooky story. Uh, anyways. Like, regardless of the fact she was super in love with him, I get that. But still. Um, but he's sitting there, and, like, I cannot get past the scene without crying. Not on the, not on the play, not on the movie, because it's so sad. Oh, so sad. Because, like, the Phantom really did love her, and he's all, like, so sad. And, you know, and, like, he's, like, sitting there, and he's like, Masquerade, paper faces on parade, masquerade. You know, and he's all sad, and he cries, and she, like, he looks up, and there she is. She's just looking at him, like, oh, my gosh, like, this guy, like, I really like this guy, but I have to go, like, have, like, a real life with somebody who's my own age. And he's all like, Christine... I love you. And, you know, she starts crying because she understands that he, like, really does love her and she has to leave. And then this girl, I don't know, if this were me, I would, if I were the Phantom in this situation, I'd be, like, kind of offended and not okay with it. But, like, she takes the ring off that he stole in the first place, but that Raul bought puts it in his hands, and she's all like, and he's all like, and she's all like, and you know, like, I get it, maybe it meant something to both of them, but like, that's a ring that Raul probably spent like a lot of money on, and in that time, what was it, like the 14th century, something like that, something like a long time ago, like, it was forever ago, and that probably cost a ton of money that Raul probably didn't have to spend on you, but he did because he loves you, and you just gave that away to someone else. And all it does is remind him that, oh, by the way, yeah, I married somebody else. Hi. <laughs> but anyways, she, like, disappears and leaves Phantom to cry. And, you know, she, like, next time you see her, like, her and Raul are, like, fleeing on a gondolier. They're all like, and it's all like, say you'll share with me one love, one lifetime. And, you know, like, Raul's all like, you know, marry me and I will buy you jewelry. And she's like, all I want is some chicken nuggets. And, you know, they go away and they go get McDonald's and, you know, life is happy for them. Like, as they're, like, leaving and they're singing and stuff, the Phantom walks out and he's all, like, still sexy and he still has no mask on and he's just, like, Gerard Butler's, like, hair is all wet and all over his face. And in the, the other one, you know, Ramin, he looks freaking sexy, too. He's sexy. Just look this guy up. He looks fantastic. Um, but, you know, Gerard comes out and he hears the little lullaby and he sees them, like, leaving and he's like... You alone can make my song take flight. It's over now. The music of the night. Bash! You know, and he like smashes all this glass. And then apparently after he smashes all these mirrors, one of these mirrors has a doorway behind it. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to zip out through here. And then like, by the, like once he leaves, 
you know, a million years later, the mob, the completely useless mob that obviously was too busy singing about coming to go get somebody was like, they're all like, they get there and they're like, ah, ah, ah. Man, that was a long journey. You know, they finally get there, and they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're here to save you guys. Man, that actually made me lightheaded. (laughs) Wow, I feel dizzy. (laughs) Anyways, like, they finally get there, and they're like, oh, no, everybody's gone. BT dubs, why didn't, like, Christine and, like, Raul, why did they not run back towards the mob and be like, hey, we're safe? We're safe. The Phantom is gone. He disappeared somehow. Or, like, like the Phantom could have easily dipped out, like, if they ran back and they're like, oh, the Phantom's back there. Like, whatever. You know, even if they didn't know that he left, like, they could have left because he's rich. They're gonna know that you're still alive. Like, if you're just trying to dip away from everybody, like, they're gonna know. Like, it's not gonna be a thing. But, like, whatever. They leave through the sewers and, like, live their life happily ever after. But then it's like... You know, they get in there and they find that mask and they're like, hold on, I have a mask just for this occasion. It's not the exact Phantom of the Opera mask, but it's still close enough. But the lady finds his mask and she's all like, in the play at least, she's all like this. But in the other one, she's just like, finds the mask and she's like, gasp, a mask, a mask. Oh dear. Now I'm going to put it on and I'm going to become the Phantom. Sorry, that'd be kind of cool though. Like having like a chick Phantom, that'd be kind of cool. I had to cut something out because I was like so close to the mic and I haven't been realizing that, but I'm so loud too. Anyways, I'm probably going to turn the video down on the vo- like on the volume and this is going to be a super long random night rants. This will be the only random night rants that's long or if I decide to do any more movies, those are going to be the long ones, but I'm going to try not to do that from now on because geez. Anyways, uh, and then it goes back to this old dude, which is also Raul, and uh, he's like sitting in this carriage, and they're going out to the graveyard to see freaking Christine's thing, and like, you know, he spent all this money on this stupid thing that she saw one time, but whatever. And like, once he gets out there, now I'm gonna make fun of this, but it's still another super sad thing. Like, oh, it makes me cry. He gets out there, and there's a freaking rose from the fan. I'm like, hey, here's a rose, but it has the freaking ring on it that she gave him. So not only was it pointless for her to give it to him because he just gave it back to her, you know, after she died, but he could have easily just went out there and left like a rose and Raul would have been like, oh crap, the Phantom came here. Oh dear. But nope, he, he had to leave that like ring too, you know, because it was like a piece of himself. And so Raul's like, well, shoot. I almost said another customer, but he was like, shoot, you know? Well, now I have to leave this freaking monkey, but you already have, like, this gorgeous ring that I thought you told me you lost in the sewer. Because I'm, like, I mean, what are you going to tell Raul? Oh, you remember that ring that you spent, like, millions and millions of dollars on, which probably isn't actually millions and millions of dollars, because, like, the time frame? You know, whatever. You spent, like, all, like, your life savings on this ring? Yeah, I gave it away to the Phantom. You know, sorry. She's probably like, oh, I dropped it in the water. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. And he's probably like, you jerk! You know? Oh, wow, that echoed. Anyways, um, man, my allergies are killing me. Anyways, like, that's also super, super sad to me because, like, that just shows that the Phantom lived his entire life in love with Christine. He didn't ever move on from that. He didn't ever go back to anyone else. He didn't ever give anyone else a shot. He just lived his entire life in love with someone that he could not ever be with. And that's so sad to me, and it makes me want to cry. So you know. But anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. I hope this was an enjoyable experience for you. Anyways, guys, if you like this episode, please leave a like. If you did not like this episode, yes, I have cut my finger. Don't worry about it. Um, if you like this episode, please leave a like. If you did not like this episode, you can always leave a dislike or you can, um, leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see changed. If you would like to follow me for more things than I have done, like more videos, more funny things, I can read you a book, I have cosplay pictures, whatever you guys have interest in. If you would like to follow me for any of that stuff. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or DeviantArt, or Tumblr, you know, any of those things. Um, Or you could just click the link in the description and subscribe, which would make all you guys amazing. Hey, baby! Look, my cat came to say hello. 
Look, this is this is delicious. He's delicious, baby. Um, he didn't like. Oh, he's so like he's gonna kill me. He, he sheds so bad. Um, hey, you wanna say hello to the camera? No, you just wanna stick your butt in my face. Here, come hop over here on this blanket. No, please stop going dark. It's gone dark like three times or four. I don't know. I have a thing with numbers. Um, whoa. Sorry, he's knocking everything in the floor. Um, anyways, guys, uh, I love you and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys.